What is up guys, Chip here, and today I'm bringing you a new series on my channel, and it is going to be a career mode with Hull City. And the reason I'm making this career mode is that, honestly, I don't like having an ultimate team series, because then I have to upload every single game and every single do thing I do with my ultimate team to YouTube. And, you know, sometimes I'll play with my friends and stuff, and, you know, sometimes my friends will come over, and we don't want to start a new career mode, we want to play some ultimate team. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing a career mode on my channel, and I really am going to hopefully be uploading this Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of every week, three episodes a week. So hopefully I'll be able to get that done. But I do choose Whole City as the team here, and or Whole Tigers, and I'm um, not really sure what I'm going to be doing at the club, but if you're a Whole City fan, this might not be the let's play for you because I'm pretty probably going to be tearing up the roster. So here I was choosing a new formation, and I chose the 4-2-3-1 because their current formation was just awful, and I'm, I doubt that's what they use in real life. So I was looking at the roster, and we've got some decent players here. Definitely, like, Maynor Figaro will be staying, and a couple others, but we definitely need to be making some edit edits to the roster. Tom Huddlestone's injured. He's probably going to be playing right defensive mid, right where he is right there for us in the season with Livermore, which is probably going to make us a strong defensive mid core. So, really, we have to work on the attacking mids and the defense right now because we end up having a pretty decent goalie. But, yeah, we have a plethora of strikers, so I think we sell one of them this episode. You guys are going to have to wait to find out and see. So, um, you guys, give me some suggestions. Which of the four strikers should I... Well, after you watch the sale, after you see the sale, which of those strikers should I keep and put in my starting lineup as my starting striker? I think I try out Shane Long and uh, someone else this series I don't, or episode. I don't think it's Sogbo, but I'm not sure. So, yeah, I'm going to put them in our friendlies. And... My first target I'm going to be going for is Maximilian Meyer because I know he turns into a great player and I really needed one rock for my team. The rest of my players I'm probably going to be getting off the Global Transfer Network and I'm not going to be searching for personally. But yeah, I wanted to get one rock to our team because we really needed a solid attacking midfield player to kind of anchor our attack. And I thought he brought that to our team and you'll see in our first game that clearly he's going to be doing something to that uh, thought. So I end up offering Yelovich and three million here, because Yelovich is twenty seven ish, and I end up uh, having to go a Connor offer, but I do get him for three point eight million. Yelovich, Yelovich is he's good player, but he's also twenty seven. He's not really going to mature, and I've got a plethora of strikers here, and honestly, he probably wouldn't have been getting that much game time. But then I get an offer for Shane Long, and I thought, uh, five million, I could sell him. So I end up offering five million, and I end up getting Maximilian Meyer there, so I accept the offer for him, and. They say no, they say 4.2 million for Shane Long, but eh. So, Hull City, I'm going to be adding Maxi Meyer to our lineup. He was our first signing. In our first game against Valenceo, uh, six minute Maximilian Meyer nets one for the squad, which was huge. And I was so excited because I was like, oh, what if I search a player and get him as my first transfer and he ends up not panning out? Sorry about the notification down there. And then I go 51st minute, Maximilian Meyer scores again. And I'm only, they come back with one. I'm only simming these games because they're preseason games. Don't worry, guys. Once we get to the actual season, I will be playing the games out. They do score on penalty, which I thought was kind of odd because we didn't get any yellow cards in the defense or anyone. The only yellow card we had was in the 16th minute, so I don't know how that would have happened. But we end up beating them 2-1. And then we get um, a final scouting report on this guy named Rudiger. And he looks really good, so I decided I was going to make an offer in for him, so I inquire about him, and later they come back to me and say $3.8 million. Obviously, after signing Maximilian Meyer, I can't afford that. So I'm going to have to give them something else. So I go into this transfer, and I think I offer a player and maybe a, the maximum money I could offer them at the time. So, yeah, but basically any players you guys think I should sign, any, like, signings you want me to make, Anything, any suggestions for the series, how often you have it upload, whether you like it, whether you don't, put that in the comments down below. So I think we ended up offering James Chester and $1.7 million for this guy. He's also 20 years old, so he looks to be a class player. Then we come into a friendly here against Torino, and I was really hoping to at least pull a tie because I know they're a really good Italian team, and I wasn't really expecting that much, but they get an early red card, which could give us the advantage here. And half first half rolls around, and nothing really happens. But then later on in the game, we hit around the 60th minute. I believe something happens here. Yes, yeah, 65th minute. Brady scores, and his goal off the bench. He's definitely going to try and work his way into the starting lineup. I'm going to take these uh, simulated games and less uh, into consideration for the starting lineup because, you know, I'm not actually playing, and the way I play with the players might be different. So then they say no to that. So I was going to offer them another offer. And then I think I end up um, 
off or not offering them anything. I think I go off and I add more money. And yes, yeah, so now I have a little bit more money because I he only has twenty thousand in wages. And we had fifty five thousand in wages, so I offer him three point two million in Chester. And you know, I was looking at the form of the team, and uh, Tom Huddlestone came back, and I don't want to rush him back though. But I was looking at the form of the team, and everyone seemed to be informed by my striker. So Aluko, yeah, it was Aluko. I end up giving a chance here. So you guys got to tell me from experience because I haven't really had too much experience in FIFA fourteen with all these strikers. I've had it in FIFA thirteen with Long, but who I should be starting, Aluko, Sagbo, or Long? Um, right now, I have no idea, so I'm basically even going off what you guys say in the comments. And so we end up scoring, but they score one right back, and Sasulo would end up, I believe, uh, pushing us real hard here. Well, I wanted to keep a, a W or a draw at least to keep our undefeated streak alive. And in the 80th minute here, it's still 1-1, and I was really hoping for a win here, but we end up getting a draw, which I'm okay with. So we keep our undefeated streak in the preseason alive. We went 2-1, two wins and one loss, and we end up getting a contract offer for Rudiger, so you guys are going to have to come back next episode to see if we get him. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.